industry is going through a really big revolution of going back to the basics, just back to food. Um, there's been such a big transition in um, food that's been like chemically engineered and all these different ingredients in there that you can't even pronounce. And now there's this trend of going back to just what food should be and what it used to be decades ago. Each year at Expo West, companies dedicated to reshaping the food industry gather together to showcase the revolutionary products that are changing the way all of us eat. But unfortunately, due to lack of access and visibility, many consumers are unaware of just how many companies are fighting for them and their health on a daily basis. Food systems are about more than just the ones who make the food, right? There's the retailers, there's the consumers themselves, the customers. It's like, how do you ask for more of what you want? How do you kind of reward those who are making better food? We all are in this together, and there's multiple players in the food space. We all have to kind of raise all the boats with the tide and create that access. Our goal is to reimagine staple favorites as delicious fuel for a healthy life. We want to make health accessible, enjoyable, and functional. And that really, to me, is a trifecta that you can find in a food. If it's tasty, if it has a functional benefit, and it's nutritious. My name is Rachel Geica, and I am one of the co-founders of Snow Monkey and currently the CEO. So I founded Snow Monkey in my senior year of college and the whole thing just happened completely organically. I've always had a lifelong involvement in athletics. I've played sports at a national and division one level. So I've always seen the correlation between food and performance, food is fuel. All throughout my time in college, I was realizing slowly that the food I love didn't love me back. And ice cream was one of those foods that definitely fit that definition. It got in the way of my training goals. I would indulge and then feel guilty about it. And I realized that I wasn't the only one. My name is Mariana and I'm one of the co-founders of Snow Monkey. I was an athlete and I needed to find food that was both nutritious and delicious. My dad has been working in agriculture for my whole life. I was very much used to eating things like passion fruit on the daily. In Colombia, you don't consider a passion fruit a super fruit. It's just a very common fruit. I don't think that healthy foods should be luxurious. There's a plentiful amount of these foods in order to be able to help the entire population eat high protein, high nutrient food. I want to be part of the solution that brings that accessibility to the rest of the world. It shouldn't be just for some of us. I was not the healthiest kid in school at all. I grew up in a lower middle class family. My parents did the best they could with what they had. My mom did pack my lunch for me every day in school and I was one of the few kids that got that treatment and I felt very lucky for that. But at the end of the day, we were limited by the resources that were available to us. There's a lot of people out there that don't get access to Expo West or to Sun Life Organics or to you know amazing brands like this. They are exposed to Taco Bell and Burger King and McDonald's. You know, this isn't conjecture, this is reality. I grew up there for 21 years. I lived in the Midwest and that's what you ate. And you didn't even know it was wrong. You just pumped your body full of poison. You felt nasty. You'd hear a little bit about being a vegan or a vegetarian or eating healthy food, but like, you're not gonna try it because you're not exposed to it. Here, we're all exposed to all this amazing stuff and you do it over, you know, like a sustained period of time and you feel incredible. What really drives me every day is knowing that, yes, we have a great product. Yes, we are trying to bring it to the masses, but beyond that, we're trying to make it accessible so that kids like me have more information about the food that they're consuming and more access to it as well. Every ingredient in Snow Monkey has a nutritional and functional purpose. What we fill our bodies with is what gets us through the day. It's what we sustain on. And if we're filling our bodies with crap because it's what it, what's available to us and it's what companies have given us, then we're riding ourselves a death wish. A lot of the major food corporations actually do a really good job of marketing false truths to the world. And unfortunately, if you don't do your own research to figure out what's really going on and what we're eating, you'll never really know what's in our food. Why is Zorbital on chips? Have you ever eaten a bowl of Zorbital? Don't put them on my damn chips. Just recognizing that this is what's actually happening to these foods. It's gross. How many movements are going on right now? Tons. Why not for this? Why not? I really believe in changing the food industry from my own personal journey with food. When I was about 20, 21, I developed a lot of food allergies that were totally out of the blue, totally unexpected, and it was rough. Like, it wasn't fun to go through, and a big reason why I developed those food allergies 
at least doctors think, is because of different chemicals and preservatives that were in a lot of the foods that I was eating. So my body kind of just couldn't take it anymore and developed intolerances to a lot of foods. I wanna make a change and help people not have to go through a similar thing. We have really great ingredients that all have a great nutritional profile, like something like sunflower seeds and bananas. They're nutritionally really dense, but we blend them in a way that makes a really creamy and delicious product. So you don't think you're eating a healthy substitute for something. Our batches just kept getting better and better. We were sharing it with our friends, with our teammates. So when we actually like wrote it down and looked at all the nutritionals, I was like, wait, this is actually really good for me. It became this game to start to like perfect it and make like literally the optimal dream alternative to ice cream. And that's really how Snow Monkey was born. Let's put good, real food into our bodies. And whether that's animals and vegetables or whether that's just vegetables, it doesn't matter. Today everybody has to be gluten free or it's this or it's that. It should just be food. And food should taste good and it should be natural and it should be ingredients that we can all pronounce. And if we can all go back to that, I think we'd have a much healthier place. My food utopia is definitely one where everyone's represented in the grocery aisles. Obviously not every food is going to be something that each person can eat, but I want people to be able to go into a grocery store and feel confident that there are options there for them that suit their diets. I know what it feels like to kind of wander around in the abyss of a grocery store like almost getting anxiety because you feel like you can't eat anything that's there or you're not sure what's safe or what is having certain ingredients hiding in it that's going to make you sick to your stomach. There are so many cool people that are really uniting together to change it. This doesn't have to be the way that it is. We all realize that we deserve better and so we're going out and we're getting it. Together we're going to make a really awesome future of food that's super healthy but also super delicious. I was just traveling back from Seattle the other day and I was going into LA and I forgot how big LA is. There's literally lights for miles. And I was just thinking about every single person that was there and that lives in LA and how many of those actually have one, the knowledge and education to understand what is good food and how to make good choices and two, the access to that. And I think those are the things that really drive me to continue doing what I'm doing at Snow Monkey, which is finding efficient ways to bring these incredible ingredients into product that everyone enjoys. Everyone loves ice cream. Ingredients that we use will help you in your life, not just by enjoying the product, but it's actually gonna give you the stuff you need. For me, eating no evil would mean eating foods that love me back, food that I feel great about consuming, that I feel proud that I ate and that I really enjoyed eating. Which unfortunately, a lot of the times, there's so many foods that I may enjoy or one might enjoy, but then all this guilt kicks in and I want to take that completely out of my lifestyle and also offer that with ice cream. We're slowly but surely breaking barriers and we're gonna pave the way for societal advancement and that vehicle is ice cream. Incredible. We're doing something for our community and we get to be surrounded by this ecosystem of really creative, innovative, passionate entrepreneurs like within the food world who do things and get up in the morning for an altruistic purpose. And so I feel really at home with where I am and I love every minute of it. <laughs>